Just like, ooh, people know we mean business when there's LES to the field. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, summon the deuce again, and drive back to Iron Head. Because unfortunately, or to Blade Edge, sorry. Because unfortunately, they don't really offer you a path back. So here's the part I think where I am unable to just get over a simple hill. I I try for like five minutes and then I'm finally able to do it. But here is one of the collect, well, I call it quote collectible in the game. It's a dragon statue. You can see they're, or they're called bound serpents actually because um, they're bound by chains. Uh, I didn't know what to do for a second, but that went back, I think, didn't I? No, I did. I find another one later and I Basically, to, to free them, you have to just set them on fire. And uh, there's 100, 120 of them, and every 10 you you set free with fire uh, gives you some sort of reward. I don't know what the rewards are yet, because I've only done one at this point. But uh, we'll find out together as I do it with you guys. So like I said, after this, just back to live commentary. Just doing post commentary because I made a mistake, but here's the part right not able to get over. And then I actually went back and nitroed and there we go. So we're, we're back over. Didn't take too long. Hope it didn't take too much of your life. Oh. So now every second's precious. Precious. Unless you're under like 16, in which case you just have way too much free time. Trust me, I know from experience. I didn't do anything before I was 16. I just like sat in my room and did nothing. Now I have a lot of stuff. School and work. I see you guys have already met Lars and Lita, and uh, Ophelia. Where is where is Olofs anyway? Oops. Uh oh. Ophelia. <laughs> That's that. Classy. Oh, no. You didn't try to free the girls too, did you? No, they're already free. We have to take her to the Killmaster. Lars, no. Lion White knows about us now. We need to lay low. Out of my way. You have to stop him. Please. Stop him? I'm gonna give him a lift. Hell yeah. Well, I thought the deuce was just a two-seater. Oh, that's right. He just runs. Forget about that. He runs the whole way and somehow beats us, even though we're using our car. It's a pretty fast, dude. I guess he runs with the power of the Titans, you know. As, as people tend to do these days. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drive over to the Killmaster, who is—I believe he's a reference. I don't really know who he is. To get if someone wants to comment on that and let me know, who he is. That like who he is in real life because I think he's based on someone in real life. He's not. But I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> I think he's from real life. Some some metal band. I don't know. I don't know. I just discovered metal like like two years ago, like a year and a half ago, and I still just wasn't. It's not that I'm not into it. It's just that I. It's just that I don't like put research and time into it, like you do with other genres, like punk. <laughs> I do research for that, which is punk is like the complete opposite of this, and I still like both. I know through like hardcore punks and hardcore metal, I'd be like, oh, it's just that other genre is just dumb. You have to like ours only. But uh, I don't really do that. I don't really do the whole loyalty soloist thing. It's, it's not really my style, you know? Alright, so I think the next bound serpent we find is. I, I wanted to inspect what this is too, because it looks like some sort of glyph. Something important, but. I, don't know, I tried hitting it, didn't do anything. Not really sure what was. Maybe we'll figure out what that is later, but. Uh, I didn't find any use for that. Here, I was pointing out this thing right there. I believe we can actually ride that. Don't quote me again, but I think you can ride that. Maybe later. Kind of gave up on it. I think later. I know for a fact we can ride something similar to it. I don't know if we can ride that specific thing. But uh, anyway. I uh, I was distracted by those things right there. I still don't know what they do either. But they look like, not fireflies, but electric flies. 
And I saw a bound serpent down here, so I was like, you know, let me let me try setting on fire. I just use my electricity. Let me try the fire. There you go. That's how you actually do it. So it was a complete guess, and I, I did it correctly. So yay! You saw there it said 120 total. I've done uh, one. <laughs> so you know, humble beginnings. But here's our beginning. Lars, how is she? Fading. We need to take her to the Killmaster. The what? Do not fear him. He chooses that name to scare off intruders. Oh. And protect his flock of giant spiders. <laughs> he is a powerful healer. All right, let's take Ophelia to him now. I tried. Ambushed on the path. Lion white loyalists. I can handle those guys. Just follow me. We must hurry. Of course, so once again, he gives you the option. We're going now. If I can't yeah, so Killmaster's can mercy. We are on our way to the Killmaster. And Lady decides to help us because she's We're ridiculous. Not going all the way, she's she can't make up her mind, baby. Follow me! Everybody's talking all at once. Stop that! You guys are my personal honor guard, okay? Right, so Lita's pretty much the worst. I mean, not like the worst, but one of the worst. Just like Mercer. Mercer's not the worst, but he's one of the worst. From Skyrim. If only we had a mosh pit right. going on. Right, so mosh pit is something you can do when you've got yeah, headbangers around you. They sort of surround you in this, this bubble, in this circle. And anything that they sort of bang into, they'll damage, like so. So you can just run into enemies and, and hurt them. Also, another really good song in the background. If people want to tell me who that is, go for it. Also, <laughs> let me introduce to you. Let me introduce uh -oh. Super Gimp. That guy up there with the with the gag ball in his mouth, that's Super Gimp. He just we is keeping it up. Again, ever. I don't really have a nickname for the, the bird ladies, though. Oh. <laughs> They're just so random. They're sort of archers. So you have to watch out for them. They will. They will arch you. You can see they got a lot of arrows and super gimp up there. But he, he doesn't care. He's just, he's just gimping it up. That's what he likes. That's what he's into. So it makes you... You actually have to use your magic to get rid of these guys. Because obviously you can't reach them with your axe. wait for to cool down. Now, Clementine, if you use her too much, that's your guitar. If you use her too much, she overheats, so you gotta be careful how much you actually use her. It's not unlimited. So, once you kill all the bird ladies, Super Gift's just like, oh, the pain, it's gone! And then he kills himself. It's, that's the end of Super Gift. Poor guy. He had so much to live for. Like, more gag balls and, and beads. Zing. You know, saying just like that. They're attacking from the rear. Someone's behind us. We're surrounded. All right, so they come from behind. You still not a big deal. I mean, so far this game's been pretty easy. And only RTS no segments, and can, it can get a little bit harder. Besides that, this game's, from what I've seen, very easy. It's more about the experience than the, the difficulty, really. I mean, people say you gotta have a hard game to, to have a good game. I mean, some people say that, not everyone. But like a, a minority, you're like, if it's not hard, then it's not worth playing. And that's dumb. I'm sorry. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, of course, but that's, that's just a dumb opinion. Anyway, I had to leave the computer for a second there, so I just went ahead and flash cutted it. Not a huge deal, but there's another Super Gimp and, and Bird Ladies up there. Eddie. So one thing you have to watch out for is Lars. You can actually die if you let him take too much damage. And I was worried a little farther up that he was going to die. It turned out okay, but uh, it gets a little scary sometimes. Especially when all your headbangers are dead. Like, I think they're all dead right now. I've got one left. Which is like, just nothing. I mean, like, whatever. I was trying so hard to actually get this last, this last bird lady over here. I don't know why, because I could just run past her. But there you go, she's down. Super gimp. No. Super gimp. Poor guy. Let's mosh it up. What do you say? Yeah, so you can protect yourself from the stampede by 
for me in Mosh Pit. Or you just move to the side, which is what I did. It works just as well. Now, Lars is complaining about being dizzy because he's taking damage, but... Actually, no, the Headbanger was the one complaining. But you really just gotta be careful here, because uh, everyone's all up in Lars' business, and you're like, hey, no, aggro on me. Lars, go backwards, and he's like, nah, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. By the power of the Titans, I will fight them with a hot girl slung over my shoulder. And I'm like, no, dude, this hot girl needs some rest. You can't, you can't just be meddling everywhere. You can't rock everywhere. I mean, like, 90% of the time you can rock, but this is that rare 10%. In which you just gotta, just gotta chill, okay? Feel me? All right, anyway, we get a brutal victory. Now here's the guy I was talking about earlier. If someone could tell me who this guy is, that would be awesome. If he is a real person in real life, I don't know. Ah, what the hell. Noble Killmaster, this woman... Didn't you see the sign? We don't like visitors up here. But she's dying. Yeah, so what's her excuse? I beg of you, heal this woman who wanted only to free her sisters from the grip of General Lion White. Oh, you're fighting Lion White. Why didn't you say so? I hate that bastard. Let's see now. Hmm. What's happening? People are pissing me off for one. Is she dead? Not yet, but soon. These are the heaviest strings I got. Can't your spiders spin new strings? Thicker strings? My little darling's here? No. The Metal Queen is big enough to spin the kind of strings you need. But we don't go into her lair anymore unless she bites us in half, suck out her innards, and lay her eggs in our eye sockets. I'm going. Then you'll both be dead, and what good is that? I've got to get those strings, Lita. No, Lars, listen. You have to let her go. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <gasps> what? <laughs> He's just like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with that. Um, so you can listen to what to their argument for for a while. I am because there's an important thing that they say. So, uh, right here. Anybody want to come with me to the lair of the Metal Queen? Right there, dear drinkers. It's not important right now, but just remember that the fact that Ophelia was a tear drinker that's going to be very important later, but not for a while. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this set. I will see you tomorrow in the next set. I'll be back to live commentary. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. As always, do that subscribey thing if you want. Likey, commenty, just BS, chicken shit, bullshit, whatever. Yeah. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.